In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, construct your project by using pinch pots. Uh, you might have done this at some point in elementary school, um, but it is a really effective way to build um, your project so that the walls are a nice thickness. Um, so usually for a pinch pot, you're going to start with a nice big sphere. Um, sometimes I can sort of rotate and pat in my hands. Um, you'd want to smooth out the cracks before you start. Um, and the way that you're gonna make a pinch pot is start off by making an impression uh, with your thumb. And then uh, the thumb stays on like the inside and your other fingers go on the outside and you pinch and rotate, pinch and rotate. So you use your other hand to rotate. And you just go around and around, trying to keep the amount that you're pinching even uh, you want to also change where you're rotating from, so pushing um, on all sides of the walls. You don't just want to pinch at the end and have it be really thick in the middle and thin at the end on the edges. So I move my, my thumb as I go, trying to keep all the way around um, the same pressure and the same, um, to maintain the same thickness of the walls throughout. Okay, so once you've done that, you can kind of shape it from here. Um, now maybe this will become a cup or a bowl of some kind. Uh, maybe you would flip it upside down and you wouldn't even see the opening and you would decorate the outside of it. Um, but it is hollow. You don't have to worry about digging out the clay later on. Um, you know, you can change the shape of it by, you know, manipulating it. Um, maybe you want to make something like a baseball or um, some sort of a, you know, a, a round like spherical structure. Um, so what you can do is actually create two pinch pots. Now the trick to this is to making sure that they line up, that the size of the pinch pots are the same. So starting off with the same amount of clay to begin with can be helpful. And then to attach these, I'm going to use score slip secure. You rake both sides. Slip, is this dirty water? Is that clay water? Now, place them together. And secure is you want to get rid of this line, this creased edge. Now you might realize as I do this, I just so I just created a nice hollow sphere that could be an egg, a baseball, a planet, you know, whatever you kind of want it to be. However, I also just made a giant air bubble inside of this. So you can't put this in the kiln as it currently is because the, uh, the air might uh, ex uh, expand in the kiln and explode. However, a nice, easy solution, um, let's say this is the bottom, this is the top, sides, this is the bottom. All you have to do with your tool is create a hole. You can also use one of these loop tools to create that hole. And that's it. That is an air vent. And now, even though you can't see it and it still looks solid, um, it's hollow inside. And when the air expands, it has some place to go so it can leave through there in the kiln. And that's it. You have just made your nice um, hollow structure that you can now decorate into your pun. And that technique was using pinch pots.